Meghalaya joined the rest of the country in celebrating the 78th Independence Day with various programs in the state capital and all the district headquarters and civil subdivisions. In the capital Shillong, the main function to celebrate Independence Day was held at Polo Grounds Shillong. The tricolor was unfurled by the Chief Minister of Meghalaya Sri Kondrak Sangma in the presence of a distinguished gathering which includes the top civil police and defence officials and the general public. A spectacular parade from a marching contingent of the army, paramilitary and police units was witnessed by the people later as a celebration of the Independence Day unfolded at Polo Grounds. Marching in unison, the uniformed men showed a rare demonstration of excellent rhythm of discipline and superb medal as an appreciative gathering cheered them along. The NCC, the District Council Executive Force, the Bharat Scouts and Guides also showed their usual proviz as displayed in Republic Day parades. In the customary speech addressed by the chief guest on such occasions, the Chief Minister of Meghalaya Sri Konrad Sangma said that sustained peace and order are the prerequisites for development. Further, Sangma said that the initiatives taken by the state would have helped in bringing all-round development in Meghalaya. Stressing on the importance for speedy economic growth, Meghalaya Chief Minister asserted that the state government is making a trust on education, health care and hospitality. A cultural program in which the country's rich and colourful diversity was displayed, a number of local cultural groups performed showcasing the cosmopolitan background of the inhabitants in the capital Shillong. The cultural attributes included dance form from major tribes of Meghalaya. Yeah. Along with the respective duties of the flag by and for the hoisting of the national flag to be followed by the national flag.
arriving at the saluting dice and taking the salute now is the contingent of the CRPF. The salute now is the contingent of the Shalom District Executive Force led by Raju K. Sangma. Arriving at the saluting dice, the contingent of the Mizoram Police is the NCC Boys Contingent led by Senior Under Officer Rajan Kumar Sharma. Following the NCC Boys Contingent Following the NCC, arriving at the saluting dais, and to take the salute now is the Indian Red Cross Society. Arriving at the saluting dais is the first among the school's contingent, that is the Holy Cross Secondary School, Norman Song, led by its commander, Fiona Jirwa. saluting dais so to take the salute now is the Auxilium Girls High Secondary School led by the region of the brass band from St. Anthony's Higher Secondary School led by its commander Goldie James Hira Nocklaw. Rifles Public School Led by Commander Joan Lalul Nui of Class. The result of untiring efforts put in by the contingents and drill. citizens, it gives me immense pleasure to extend heartfelt greetings to you on the occasion of India's 78th Independence Day. We commemorate this solemn occasion and honor our freedom heroes, Mahatma Gandhiji, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, and Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. We pay homage to the patriots from Meghalaya soil, Uthirat Singh, U Kyang Nangba, and Pathogan Sangba. We also honor the members of the defense, paramilitary, and police forces who have made great sacrifices to protect the rule of law. The overall law and order situation in the state has been peaceful throughout the year. We have made significant progress in the talks of the interstate boundary dispute between Assam and Meghalaya, and we will continue our dialogue to ensure that we are able to resolve 
the interstate border dispute with Assam. Recently, because of the ongoing situation in Bangladesh, many of our students studying there and citizens who were there had to be evacuated. During that process, the MEA and government of Meghalaya and other agencies had successfully evacuated the Meghalaya students and workers from Bangladesh. Friends, the state government has also taken steps to modernize the criminal justice system. We have applied the newly promulgated Bharatiya Nyaya Sanhita, the Bharatiya Nagarik Suraksha Sanhita, and the Bharatiya Saksha Abhinyam to the courts of Meghalaya. However, the Autonomous District Council courts will continue to function under the provision of the sixth schedule of the Constitution. I am grateful to have the opportunity of addressing you on Independence Day for the seventh time. Occasions like this offer us a chance to reflect on the achievements of the past and renew our resolve for the future. In 2018, when the people of Meghalaya placed their trust in the MDA government, the state was faced with several challenges on social, economic, and environmental fronts. I made a commitment that our government will resolve each of these complex problems in a time-bound manner. Over the last six years, we have prioritized development, delivery, ser service delivery, and citizen empowerment. More roads were constructed during this period than were constructed in the previous decade. Today, it's easier for patients to reach health centers, for students to go to schools, and for farmers to access market. We are on the verge of bringing clean drinking water to every household. Megaland women now safely give birth under improved medical care. Our children are assured better early childhood care, and students are educated in improved learning environments. Our farmers are reaping higher incomes from value addition and marketing of produce. We have supported a large number of youngsters to start businesses and create jobs. One of my most cherished memories from the last six years was the celebration of the 50th anniversary of Meghalaya's statehood in 2022. At that time, I had made a commitment that the year 2022 should mark the beginning of the Meghalayan decade. The 10-year period of 2022 to 2032 would see Meghalaya emerge as one of India's top 10 states in GDP per capita income and achievement 
of sustainable development goals. My dream is to create a Meghalayan decade within the Meghalayan age. The Meghalaya of 2032 is not just the government's 10-year target. It is a vision for our collective future. I realized I released a vision document for Meghalaya at 60 yesterday. This document is now in the public domain for citizens to offer their views and share their aspirations for Meghalaya in 2032. I urge all citizens to participate actively in building a shared vision for growth and well-being. As I make this appeal to you, I am reminded of the great Kasi poet, Uso Sotham, who asked, Ayu Nyenle Namar Kari, what can you do for your country? Meghalaya's mission, 10 targets, to put Meghalaya among the top 10 states in the country in 10 years. It provides 10 critical guarantees to every citizen of the state. These guarantees include road connectivity, water supply, power supply, housing, affordable health care, quality education, social security, internet and telecom services, doorstep service delivery, and community infrastructure like play fields and community halls in even the remotest parts of the state. The 10 guarantees will improve the lives of every citizen in the coming years. Some of these guarantees are already becoming a reality. For instance, we have provided tap water connections to 5.2 lakh households and 80% coverage. Just five years ago, only 4,500 households had tap water connections. Today, as we travel across Meghalaya, new water tanks and pipelines are a common and heartwarming sight. The next step after providing water supply is ensuring sustainability of sources. We are working on a comprehensive program for protecting and rejuvenating hundreds of springs and surface water sources across the state. Another guarantee where we are making good progress is road connectivity. I understand the difficulties faced by our citizens in remote villages. Our state has about 7,000 villages, many of which are located in deep valleys and hilltops. Despite these challenges, we have built more than 2,500 kilometers of roads in the last five years. We will continue this momentum and strengthen the state's road network to connect all districts, subdivisions, blocks, markets, and tourist spots. The Government of India has recently sanctioned a new road project worth 2,500 crores for the state based on our good performance on existing projects. We have also started the construction of suspension footbridges so that people can cross streams, particularly during the rainy season. I would like to just take this moment uh, to ask our students, if you are not feeling comfortable, please 
you can sit down or take rest. It is quite hot. And those who feel that they're not comfortable, you are permitted to just sit down because I don't want you to fall or faint. It is very hot and I can understand that it's not very easy to stand in that heat. So please ensure that if anybody's feeling dizzy, you should please take rest. Another fundamental guarantee that I want to promise every citizen is quality and affordable health care. Meghalaya's health care sector has witnessed a remarkable transformation in the last few years. We have seen a 47% drop in maternal deaths and 30% drop in infant mortality. This record drop is attributable to the Chief Minister's Safe Motherhood Scheme. More than 30 new sub-centers have been constructed this year alone, with another 100 scheduled for completion. This will increase the total number of sub-centers from 460 to 610. Over 137 of these centers have adjoining residential units for healthcare staff to enable them to provide medical services round the clock. We are working towards opening the Shillong Medical College by the next academic year. Work on the Tura Medical College is also progressing steadily. We have also doubled the number of government health centers providing ultrasound facilities in the state in the last two years. I urge all health workers to ensure that every pregnant woman is provided at least one ultrasound scan by the 20th week of pregnancy to ensure a safe delivery. The work of the government over the last six years gives me hope and confidence. Meghalaya has built a growth momentum by focusing on agriculture, tourism, skill development, industry, green economy, information technology, power, and urban infrastructure. These efforts have resulted in increased income for farmers, entrepreneurs, hospitality providers, and IT professionals. Numerous projects, including tech parks, business hubs, new urban centers, and luxury hotels are underway. The new Meghalaya Industrial and Investment Promotion Policy targets to attract rupees 10,000 crores of investment over the next five years. All these initiatives will increase Meghalaya's GDP to $10 billion by 2028 and generate 5 lakh new employment opportunities for our youth. Further, by 2032, Meghalaya's GDP is projected to touch $16 billion. While formulating the Meghalaya 2032 vision, I drew inspiration from the Honorable Prime Minister's grand vision of Viksit Bharat. It is an ambitious plan for transforming India into a developed country by the 100th anniversary of our independence in 2047. I aspire for Viksit Meghalaya to be a $10 billion, to be a $100 billion economy by 2047 when we celebrate 75th anniversary of our statehood. 
Friends, while making grand plans for the future, let us also celebrate today's encouraging reality. As I travel across the street and interact with farmers, entrepreneurs, sportsperson, women, youth, musicians, artists, and ordinary citizens, I feel a sense of great optimism. Today is an opportunity to share some heartwarming stories that reflect the government's commitment and the spirit of our people. We are currently in the summer pineapple season. And it is well known that Meghalaya's farmers grow the sweetest pineapples. Despite the superior quality for years, our farmers lacked the means to store, process, or sell their produce at better prices. To change this scenario, the government organized farmers groups, provided financial support, built cold storages, and processing units. One such unit in Umdihar, Riboy district alone, processes over 200 metric tons of pineapple each season and exports frozen pineapples. Today, Meghalaya's pineapples are being sold in retail chains in many Indian cities and high-end malls in the Middle East. All these efforts have resulted in significant increase in the income of many pineapple farmers. As an outcome of our mission mode projects for Lakadong turmeric, ginger, khasi mandarin, jackfruit, mushroom, spices, Meghalaya's agriculture sector today is ripe with possibilities. Some of Northeastern India's largest and most advanced agro-processing units are now in Meghalaya and are owned and managed by farmer producer organizations and cooperatives. I recently laid the foundation for the Northeast India's largest organic food processing unit at Bhairambong, Riboy district. The Rongara processing unit in South Garo Hills district has a capacity to process 1,000 metric tons of jackfruit and quadruple the income of more than 8,000 local farmers. A state-of-the-art fruit, pulp, and ice cream manufacturing unit has commenced production in Tikrikila, West Garo Hills, with a daily capacity of 5,000 liters of juice, benefiting over 2,000 farmers. Rural household supplements their farm income with wage income from the MG NREGS program. About 6.5 lakh households across Meghalaya are benefiting from the program. Our state has a vibrant self-help group movement comprising more than 45,000 women's groups. A systematic plan to improve the income of one lakh women and create Lakpati Didis, Lakpati Kongs, and Lakpati Abis is being implemented. Friends, we all know the importance of the tourism sector and the many initiatives of the state government. Meghalaya today is recognized as one of India's exotic and accessible tourist destination. I am glad that two five-star hotels are operational in Shillong, and the tourism sector has bounced back post-COVID. There is a need for more five-star hotels, premium resorts, and luxury camping sites at Shillong, Sora, Umiyam, Tura, and other destinations. These new projects will be implemented in a PPP mode with a proposed investment 
of 2,000 crores. We have launched India's most attractive homestay scheme, offering a subsidy of up to 70% of the project cost. More than 600 homestays have been sanctioned in the last two years, and another 2,000 are targeted. Initiatives like the Cherry Blossom and Megong Festival have provided platforms to local musicians to perform alongside global music legends. The Meghalaya Grassroots Music Project is a resounding success, supporting about 3,000 local musicians and performers. My government's desire to support Meghalaya's film and creative community and promote our Khasi, Garo, and Pinar languages led to the creation of Hello Meghalaya OTT platform. Today, we have very high quality local content in the form of films and music videos. Hello Meghalaya is a global channel to showcase our local talent. About 1.8 lakh people have already downloaded the Hello Meghalaya app. I urge all student, citizens to download this app and join hands with the government in promoting our culture and creating income opportunities for our youth. and the School Brass Bands of St. Anthony's High Secondary School and the School Brass Bands of St. Anthony's and Auxiliary School, the Drill Masters and a special mention to the three leaders.
Bell's High School School is the first ever class performance by a girls school participating in the Independence Day Parade. Thank you once again, the girls of, from the Xilion Higher Secondary School. Saluting our motherland and the completion. Of the power not to give in. Oh, I will see it through. I believe this is my moment of truth. Dead to dream. Strength to set my spirit free.
in the ceremonial tea party hosted by the governor at Raj Bhavan in Shillong, a host of dignitaries and special invitees attended the program. During the reception at Raj Bhavan entitled At Home, a cultural representation was presented by different cultural groups of the state. Reports of Independence Day celebration have also come from different parts of the capital Shillong and also the rest of the state. सकल जीव समता साधु साधु विदिता सकल जीव समता साधु साधु विदिता कबूर देवूदर सनवा अब तक चहल समनवा
whole immense potential to generate prosperity for the state. We have also assured 10 welfare guarantees to the citizens so that prosperity is equitably distributed among all Mekhalan. Law and order situation in the state was by and large peaceful and throughout the year. As Indians, we are fortunate to have stalwarts like Mahatma Gandhi, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Pallavai Patel, Dr. D. R. Ambedkar, and Netaji Shubhas Chandra Bose as the founding fathers of our nation. We remember the patriots from Magalhaes Soil, Udhirakshin, Bukyam Mamba, and Patavan Sangma. We also remember the pain of those who were displaced by partition of India. We respectfully remember the members of the armed forces, paramilitary forces, and police forces of the country and our state who have made great sacrifice in protecting the rule of the law. It has been a year of great significance for Meghalaya as our ambitious economic growth plan for transforming the estate into a $10 billion economy took shape in the form of Mission 10. Under this plan, we have identified 10 opportunities sector which holds immense potential to generate prosperity for the state. We have also issued 10 welfare guarantees to the citizens so that prosperity is equitably distributed among all Megalands. The law and order situation in the state was by and large peaceful throughout the year. The general election was conducted smoothly in last April. The process of resolving the interstate border dispute with Assam made steady progress this year. Committees deployed in both states are working towards the, an amicable solution to the dispute in the remaining six areas.
belok ke sini ke Bapak Musan Tram di Ekam Medialaya nomor Bapak Belan dan Haudur Dumai di Ekam Jela di Ekam Bilabu Bapak Belan Halo Sipo Biling Dolor Belasang Wondor Kedul ke Komisi Nintian Hapo kan ke Belan Nila Kekmat Sekitna Iba Nidon Sekirman Bernodra Ia keroy kepar Kecilah ke sini Nila Kularu Bernodra Ia kimat Belan ya gini gini Di Tinggal Gam Jadi langsung senang Kenang ba Keroy keman Kenong kebayar engkat Bengkoro Iba Ia langsung senang Tinggal jelah di Barokowin Abang Ibu Aikman dia berbun jadi kebanyakan akan kecelah begini membuat dia berbun dikenal mereka apa kesukaan para pengikai aku kena kebal jadi mereka um baca wakil kecelah kelamat in song kelamat juga song sub song san alikar Islam Bila lah akan pulang, ia ke General Election, kapan ia ada GNP, atau ia yang, ke jeng pesan, buat pendek, ia ke jeng kerja, buat, buat ke asam, ke layak, siap lang, minta ke senyap. Ngadap ke jeng kemen, ia ke pengenang, ia di, bahwa BD, buat ke bentar, ia ke pagi nyegren, ia ke jeng kerja, jeng bubur, asam, Mengawang ada pada cikgu-men Ia ke pengawang ia ke dia Bang, kemudian ke sini Ada sini ia penduk Ia umpiri langkah Ia ke penye sengkia Ia ke dia ke bentak Amar kalong ke wey ni kimat Ke pengawang ke bentak ke jelak ke sini Ada sini ia penduk Kemudian ada pada cikgu-men ke pengawang Batang Hadir ke dia ke sesin Ke bagi kelong minta Tang hari hari ini kita sesin, nak kalian mengkiri langkah begini, bulat-bulat, dia kapan ini siang no, dia kapan ini pendek, dia ukur sam demi berapa jelas sam. Kini 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 kita buat, kita kami skem kita mengibaro, ini langsung siang, jumlah jelas kita kaya di kerobuai, mila kita sebutkan. Agricultural activities. We have just seen them planting a paddy. यदि भारत माता के चरणों में लोगों को बहाकर ही आगे जाना है, तो मैं इस पद को ग्रहण करने के लिए पूर्ण रूप से तैयार हूँ।
farm plus to me gigami sat barang na pamang ni gigaba aram ko pari ta pate dam nang ba mat pru ni sura iterong aro mosorang ko gichin ka da gamani bosorang ko aro ta ka bisorang ni kata lak chak ka ni ko sorkari na manchi ha aro sorkari ni supply chain na tang chak ni rang ko na aro mangra patat na kata gi ircha sa so tok tok primary processing unit rang ko if a group na patin well warehouse rang aro call call to rest rang ko ruka ha sa khaza ko group ko wa e gami cha ka barang aro agro interferes rang dau de dam chi sa prime ha prang ka tang tang ni e gami man ka barang ko smong na harina aro phal badang na ka da man ning ha irang ni ge sa unit so dollars a jaw tong ka pa rong ara prime ha fo a jaw sa metric ton te brong rang ko harina ka ta man na aro na ke ha jaw chat na ba ten ye game chak barang ni lockdown ni khamai ni ko chang bri mang thak do ta pata ha de bandam ko rukani prime ha prang machu ta ni ting tang 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 ka dango da lo u nginga adok ni ge game chak barang adang thang ni ge game man gamarang ko a song ni a phachna chkam me tik to na ba plan watat na kata chol ko man na ha de sadak ko rukatam ko ruk bri de si mang mang on ye hazar so chet no gamarang chugam Sasa ko ruk chet ko rong a jira ni kata kam kan irang chi chol ko man naha. Yas kini nung awa dok ni me chet beneficiary rong a song kuma ko thak doa ni ko ba nuk na kata man naha. National rural replace mission ni nung awa gi a kasut bis ko several group rong na lak ko ma me chet rong ko bak na ngate wa manga tangga kamai ni chol rong ko o na kata man naha.
has been a year of great significance for Meghalaya as our ambitious economic growth plan for transforming the state into a $10 billion economy took shape in the form of Vision 10. Under this plan, we have identified 10 opportunity sectors which hold immense potential to generate prosperity for the state. We have also assured 10 welfare guarantee schemes to the citizens so that prosperity is equitably distributed among all Meghalayans. The law and order situation in the state has been by and large peaceful throughout the year. The general elections were conducted smoothly in April. The process of resolving the interstate border dispute with Assam has made steady progress and committees have been deployed and are working towards an amicable solution to this dispute in the remaining six areas. In various central and state government establishments, the national flag was hoisted in the presence of the employees of the department and the national anthem was sung. The Independence Day program was held at the office premises of the Northeastern Council, the All India Radio Shillong, the office of the Accountant General Audit and the Dudarshan Kendra Shillong besides other government establishments.
We are gathering here. Good morning, so we the 78th Independence Day of our nation. First of all, I extend my heart and greetings to each one of you, and also a warm welcome to all gathered here to celebrate this glorious celebration. senior leaders and public we got this independence so unity and diversity is the principle we are maintaining till now <coughs> this should be continued forever durushangar sabdan durushangar 